It's a pretty common heart problem. It can be deadly, but it can also be easily fixed. Diagnosing it used to be difficult, but now health editor Dr. Maria Simber reports more and more hospitals have the tools to detect it. Kathy Knopp loves to stay active, from walking her dog to working out to volunteering. But when she couldn't breathe while doing just her everyday activities, she knew something was wrong. Just walking the dog, and when I would just go up a slight grade, all of a sudden I, would, I just couldn't even catch my breath. Going up a flight of stairs, and then it got to the point where I was just on level ground, and I started to get breathless. I went to the emergency room and I thought I was maybe having a heart attack. Her symptoms were concerning for many different cardiac causes, including coronary artery disease. After making sure she didn't have blocked arteries in her heart or other common problems, the doctors diagnosed her with a condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. That's where the center wall of tissue between the heart's chambers is too thick. This can block blood flow out of the heart. You can have symptoms like chest pain or shortness of breath with exertion, or maybe no symptoms at all until there's a major problem. About one in 500 people has this. An ultrasound of the heart hinted at Kathy's trouble, then an MRI of her heart confirmed it. With cardiac MRI, we're able to get more detail and specifically evaluate for the presence of any scarring within the heart. Scarring increases the risk of heart rhythm abnormalities and sudden death. Kathy was worried about that until she got her MRI results because that was able to show whether I had a scar tissue on my heart. And she didn't. It used to be heart MRIs were done only at large teaching medical centers. Now they're also available in smaller community hospitals. I thought I would have to go, go down to Oakland, go do, I didn't know where we'd have to do this. I've never heard of it before. And I just went out to the Peters office and had it done. It's rapidly expanding and it's becoming standard of care for a lot of these patients and all patients with this should have a cardiac MRI. People who can't have it are those who have magnetic metal in their body, for example shrapnel. And if your kidneys are bad, you can't get the IV injection to make certain parts of the images clearer. The test takes about an hour with you lying on your back in a narrow tube and it is covered by insurance. There's been no issues that I've experienced having this accepted for them. Kathy now takes medicine, which after some dosage adjustment, controls her shortness of breath. That helped. I could tell right away. When I would walk the dog, my heart didn't flutter. It didn't really make me breathless. I'm doing great. I'm on the medicine every day, and life's back to normal. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA TV News. Now, because this particular heart condition is genetic, doctors also recommend that patients' relatives get tested, but with a simple heart ultrasound to start.